Hello all, this video demonstrates how to install driver for the 5 inch HDMI touch screen and calibrate it to use it with Raspberry Pi 3. This is the 5 inch 800 by 400 resolution resistive touch display. On the back side is the 26 pin uh, connector designed to connect with B plus but can be plugged onto 40 pin Raspberry Pi 2 or Raspberry Pi 3. Display is controlled over HDMI interface. A C type HDMI loop connector is used to connect both the boards. Plug in the Raspberry Pi onto the display so that the USB sockets align with the border. There are only 26 pins but can be plugged, RP, RPA3 can be plugged. Use the C link to connect the HDMI sockets. A 5 volt 2 ampere adapter is required to power this setup. On booting up for the first time, you can see the screen is not in full size and also the touch is not working. A stylus is provided with the screen but initially the touch doesn't work. If you connect a mouse, you can see the movement and selection are ok. To install the drivers, switch off the power and then remove the SD card. Plug the SD card into uh, PC using a card reader. Open the folder and right click on config.txt. Open it using notepad++ or wordpad and then scroll down to the end. Add these five lines to the end. HDMI group equal to 2. Max USB current is uh, set as 1 to make the USB port provide 1.2 ampere current. HDMI group is set as 2 and then mode as 1. For supporting HDMI modes that are not from official CEA or DMT list of modes, you set the HDMI mode to 87. Now set the CVT coordinated video timings as 800 as width 480 height 60 is the frame rate 6 is aspect ratio for 15 is to 9 and the margin is disabled interlace is progressive and then the reduced blanking is normal finally save the file remove the SD card and plug it to a Raspberry Pi switch the power on Now you can see the full screen display. But still we have to install the touch drivers. Open the WaveShare website and then browse to 5 inch HDMI LCD page. Scroll down to locate the driver LCD iPhone show that is in tar file click on to download it by default it is downloaded to root downloads using x archiver copy the file to home pi and then downloads now visit the waves share website again and then download the x input calibrator this is located under under touch screen calibration download the X input calibrator file using the file manager store it in home pi downloads Now inside the home pi downloads you have both the files LCD show as well as the X calibrator tar files. Right click the uh, downloaded files and then click on extract here. Do it for both the files. Now 
now open up the terminal and then change directory to home forward slash pi forward slash downloads you can use the cd command to change directory under downloads if you execute ls command you can see the lcd iphone show as well as the x calibrator files to install uh, lcd show use this command dot forward slash lcd iphone show this will install the drivers for the 5 inch lcd Once the drivers are installed, you can see the uh, touch is working. Now to install the calibrator, go to the terminal again and then change directory to the uh, home pi downloads where we stored the file cd uh, to x input calibrator now use this command to install the x input calibrator sudo dpkj iphone i iphone b and then the uh, file name x input iphone calibrator you can copy and paste the uh, file name enter to install now the calibrator file is uh, installed under preferences you can uh, start the calibrator now the calibrator uh, application is found un under the preferences start the calibrator touch on the four corners shown to finish the uh, calibration process now let us install the virtual keyboard this is very handy and uh, it will avoid the physical big keyboards use the command sudo apt iphone get install matchbox iphone keyboard this will install the matchbox keyboard which is a virtual win once the installation is over you can see the keyboard under accessories if you do not see the uh, keyboard under accessories open the preferences and under main menu editor select accessories and then tick mark the keyboard Now you can see the keyboard under accessories. Touch on the keyboard to open the virtual keyboard. It is handy to use this virtual keyboard and avoid a physical one. 